the Moza Air 2S, the professional gimbal that packs precision and power. Prepare to get haste. Buhay and what is up tasers, welcome to Taste or the Art of Sir Eden. If you are new to this channel and you're kind of interested in these kind of contents, be sure to subscribe and tap that bell there so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And to my current subscribers, thank you, thank you so much for your support. You guys are awesome. And don't forget to follow me on my Facebook page, Instagram, and TikTok for more updates, tips, and videos. Now before we proceed, I would like to thank Guds and Mosa for sending me this titan this is a gods and mosa father's day giveaway 2021 and just to share with you guys this is my very first time winning a giveaway ever so thank you so much mosa and hopefully this is the start of my winnings and after five months since i received this gimbal i didn't want any other giveaways <laughs> Now I've already unboxed this Titan. You can check it out in the card up there. Now I love gimbals, but this is going to be the first time reviewing one. But this is not the first time I've used a gimbal. But I still believe that I need more practice. What I got here is a standard package. You can also get a pro package with the extra accessories for professional purposes. Now the first thing you need to know is that this is an upgraded version of the Mosa Air 2 gimbal. It is really a heavy duty one it weighs for around eight pounds without the other accessories attached and like this I already attached a few accessories in this so theoretically with the eye focus and underslang handle attached it weighs around nine pounds or maybe more not to mention the added camera weight so this one is definitely not for vlogging unless you got a really really strong arm well, you get the idea. However, given the fact that this is heavy, this only means that the output of your footages is definitely going to be smooth and stable, which makes it more reliable on professional shoots. And previously, I had a chance to try out the younger brother of this one, which is the Moza Air Cross 2, and it was an awesome gimbal as well. Back then, I thought that was heavy <laughs> until I got this one. Now, the build quality is definitely robust because most of this is made out of metal, which makes it durable and will definitely last a very long time. Now, let's dive deeper into the unit. Now, this is the new smart hand wheel. Here, you can control focus, pan, and tilt. Rotating it is very smooth, no jitters. And this handle gives you more precision whether you're controlling the axis or you're pulling focus. In the front, we got here a joystick, a dial that also acts as button, function button, and mode button. The on and off button, and on this side is the USB-C for firmware upgrade and for adjustment parameters. Three mounting screw holes, a cold shoe mount, and at the back is the trigger button with another mounting screw with a rosette-like lock. And at the bottom is the battery safety on and off button, USB-C charging port. We got here the Mosa Air 2S logo on both sides. And below are two types of screw holes for tripods, extensions, monopods, and slide pod. And also the three axis adjustment screws and the locks. Now let's quickly run through all of the functions of the Mosa Air 2S. Now to be clear, I am not going to be detailed about it, but if you want me to discuss it thoroughly on a different video, let me know in the comment section below. Now to turn this on, first press the battery safety button, then the power button. Then this Mosa logo appears. You will be directed in this default menu and here you can see the tilt, roll, and pan axis. These numbers are represent the strength or the speed of all the axis and these letters are the status of each axis. Here's the joystick. It basically controls all the axis. Press S and you'll activate sports mode. I think Q is for quick. For M mode, you can set it to control the focus and the axis. Press this to view the setup menu press it again to exit this dial can quickly adjust the strength of 
all of the access motors now let's quickly run to the menu just to clarify you need to press the right on the dial to confirm any selection then press the left again to go back to the previous menu and to select any setting just press up and down now with the mosa air 2s you can also select which shutter cable fits your camera giving you a wide range of compatibility now the parameter shows the status of which cable are active but since i didn't connect one this is how it looks in the gimbal setup menu in here you'll find a lot of simple and straightforward setting and customizations we got here the auto tune level and custom in here you can set up the gimbal strength and speed that fits the camera you are using and the movement speed of all axes for the advanced menu you can access and set up your gimbal's advanced setting such as balance check eye focus inception motion sensing tracking manual positioning and calibration and lastly the general in here you can set up the language configuration presets where you can save three of your favorite gimbal settings and select them on the go and lastly the about menu all of these settings basically explains itself pretty much you can check out other videos here on youtube for further details now here are the functions that i really like on this gimbal you can adjust the strength and speed of all of the axes by rotating the dial clockwise up to 100 percent and counterclockwise down to zero you can also double click up left and down on the dial to lock each of the axes now press the s once and you'll enter the sports mode press it twice and here is the inception mode you can set up the speed using the dial and select from 180 degree to 360 degree rotation by pressing the up and down button triple press and you'll enter f PV mode. For the M button, you can select on what the smart hand wheel function would you like to use, such as controlling each axis or pulling focus. And that is if you have the eye focus attached. And a few that I haven't explored yet. And of course, the joystick to manually control all the axes to point your camera on the direction of your subject. I had a chance to shoot a few films and try to balance it on an uneven terrain. And I gotta say, this really makes my footages stable and smooth. Considering that I am not a good of a gimbal user, it has done a great job in all of those films. Now, this gimbal is definitely heavy, but it feels good to hold, especially if you put other handle accessories, just like what I did in this one. And the battery, man, it is a beast. Over one and a half day of shoot, and there's still juice in it. That is really something. You can check out the two of the films that I made using this Titan in the card up there. And I also like that you can control and access all the setting in the gimbal without the help of a smartphone. And speaking of a smartphone, the Mimic functionality is really, really awesome. And of course, you need to download the Moza Master app to access that feature and a lot more. The only minor quirks that I noticed in four months of using this is that this access needs to be adjusted whenever you're going to pack your gimbal and rebalance it again when you're going to use it because as you can see it's hitting the lower axis for some this might be a big deal but for me it's not really that a problem because i can just rebalance it and this charging cover tends to get off in fact i lost mine so i did um kind of use a smartphone cover for this one it's not focusing but yeah overall the moza air 2s is definitely one of the best affordable gimbals in the market that gives you quality performance with lots of customizations and features to adapt based on how are you going to shoot definitely a professional level gimbal i will definitely recommend this to all professionals or if you are looking for a, your very first professional yet affordable gimbal this is the right one for you if you want to grab one i will leave an affiliate link 
on the description below so please click that link if you want to help this channel and that's it guys i hope you find this video helpful if you want more videos like this please consider subscribing and tap that bell there so you get notified whenever i uploaded a new video and again tasers this is taste or the art of sir eden and together let's explore learn create and share see you on my next video guys taste reviews out now if you guys want me to make a video on how i mounted my smartphone on the Mosa Air 2S. Just leave a comment below. See ya. And guys, I would just like to apologize. There's a construction going on on this side of our area near this studio of mine. So you probably might hear a, a lot of hammering on the walls. So I hope you're hearing my audio clearly despite of this noises and hopefully they will be able to finish what they're building on that side of this building.